I'm going to explain uh, how I made this bracelet. First I made one for Chudaro uh, Breast Cancer Awareness and in pink. And I made it also in this color with large beads on the side. But I think it's a bit uh, messy. I don't know. And I made a variation, this one. And I'm going to try to explain how I made it. And to start, I I made a short bracelet now. Um, I made already two chains, a single of sorry, three chains, three single chains. And I have already the same length as I have got the chain, so I've got 12 in this one, I think. So I also have 12 uh, chains, links from the chain, and I have two from that. So when you start, you have to make make three of um, these single chains and two chains. And if you don't want to use chains, um, then just leave the chain out, that's no problem and you get the same effect only without the chain here and here. And I also have got uh, for the border, I used uh, every other uh, link, um, I used uh, a little bead, a uh, seed bead we call it here, I don't know if that's everywhere. And it's um, 0.6 millimeter. It's 4 millimeter in Europe and I guess 0 uh, slash 6 in uh, in America, I think. That's just the little beads. So I'll put it aside and just uh, make the chains as long as uh, it fits. Uh, your wrist. You have, when you use the chain, um, it won't stretch because the chain are in the center. So I use another closing, and I use the magnet closing, but you can use a lobster closing or other uh, closings. I don't know the name of, but I do it like this. Otherwise, with a C clip, it's very hard to get it around your wrist and to start I grab um, the two chains I made I have three but I put this one aside and I lay them like this so the cap end is here at the bottom and I lay it like this and then I get one chain I have a small needle because my normal um, hook won't, won't come through the chain and I only grab this one on the inside and this one on the inside so I go through this side and then I get a chain So through the chain and then through this one, only the one on the side, on the inside. I grab a band and pull it through all three and then go in the next chain, through the chain and through this side and close get the next band it's a little bit fiddly but and pull it through all the bands that's on your hook 
remember you have done that one you go through the next chain only one on the inside through the middle chain and through one side of the other chain and close so I hope it's you can see it all and I grab another band pull it through everything and into the next one side of the chain through the chain in the center and from the other chain from the bands on one side and close so when you don't use the chain you only have to go through both chains that you've made pull it through go into the next chain through the center and this chain and close so it's rather simple it's only a bit um, when you use a chain it's a bit fiddly to, to come through all the, the loops and through the chain in the center. That's the most uh, difficult part. And be sure your chain is straight. And be also sure when you are looming that the chains are still in the that you always grab the one on the inside otherwise it's all going to curl up and it won't give a nice effect when you're ready that link and the center and oops. that's what I mean <laughs> be sure you grab everything and only one loop off the chain next through the chain and the next of the band chain and close it oops where is my chain True. Now I have one left on this side and one, two on that side, so I made this side too long. I remove the clip and for this side I take the purple one here 
and pull it just under the left side of the bracelet so only this loop pull it through and close and on the other side I remove the clip I have to turn it around get this purple band under the white band and close now you have one part of the center done like this and to go on with um, I've got two chains like you see in this one and that we have to connect so to do that I lay this, this chain exactly the same way I lay the other chain so with the cap band like this and then I go through this one in the center and to this through this one only the one at the top this one and then you connects the two chains with each other so I'm going to put this aside and grab my chain because I'm going to put another chain in this center also I go through this one so not through my cap band but only through this one loop through the chain and only through the one at the top only that loop I grab another band and I pull it through everything and into the next loop through the chain and in the next loop from the purple band chain grab a band X it won't work with me and pull it through everything go into the next link from the band chain into the next link of the chain and the other one sorry I'm so bad at explaining in English <laughs> I try my best but I hope you if you see what I'm doing that you know what I mean through the, the white loop of the one you placed before through the purple chain, through the center chain other purple chain and through the other white chain and go into the next Sure, your chain is straight. Uh, 
I hope it's not too dark because it's very dark outside, but I hope you can see it all. Through everything, to the next change. So just finish it till you reach your length you need for your wrist. I'm only doing this small part. Sorry my clip is in the way. so fiddly that's <laughs> so hard to do on camera and I see I made a mistake sorry go. I forgot to go through the chain the one in the center and that's not good This was the last one for me. And when you're at the end, do the same thing as you did on this side. So release the clip, get the purple band, or only this white band under, and close. wrong. Now they are sitting in the clip. Turn it around and do the same thing for this one. Release the clip. Get the purple band under the white band and close. So now you've got your center. At first I worked through this and I thought it was going to straighten then when you pull, pull a border on the purple bands, but it wasn't. It was all going to, to curl up and that's not the meaning. So now I work through this side so I get the whites here. And the whites on this side, and then I start. I go through the sides and get the purple band from underneath it, so like this. So, let me see if you can see it. This is the white that I placed, the white Ali bands. I go through the sides. And you see here the purple bands, the ones that you see also here besides the chain. And I grab that from underneath. So I go in. Now I have my cap band. I go in and just grab that one. And then I start with just the normal bands. 
pull it through and close go into the next grab a band and now I'm going to pull through my leaded bands The bead has to go on this side, but you can pull on it when you're finished so that they are on the side. Go into the next, grab the purple band <coughs> and pull through a normal band, not beat it. Into the next. And grab a beaded band. Like this. into the next and then the beaded bands through all of them I'm always that I want to straighten it right away, but I can do it later on. It's no problem. I think it's a bit fiddly is that it has to go under the purple band you pull from here. The beads don't want to come through very easy, so don't lose use too large beads. And the last one. through and then when you're at the ends do the same thing as we did before release the clip get this purple band the lighter purple underneath these two loops on your hook and close So now when you've done that, you can straighten the beads. I try to grab them in between my fingers and pull them to the top of the band that's on. Like this. So now it's neat and all at the same place. And to do the other side, I turn my bracelet around. And more to the sides. And 
in just a moment, sorry. And now I'm going through this side to the true the white and get the purple ones underneath it. So I go in and I start with a knot beaded band. Most of the time I also end with a knot beaded band, but because it's just a short piece, it doesn't matter. That And then into the next, through the white chain, grab the purple one or what color you use. Oh, I did use a beaded band, sorry I'm so clumsy today. Now I need a not beaded band, pull it through. And through both loops on your hook, like this. I have to see, did I make a mistake or not? This first, oh no, no, sorry. Get a bit of bend now, pull it through, and under the two loops on your hook, and close. Into the next. So it's just a simple border, only you grab the purple one in between from the side. And if you don't want the border, you can also do it without, that's also nice. Or you can even make more on each other, so you get a real white bracelet, you can go. You can make it as large as you, as you want. Yes, I made a mistake because this side is shorter than the other side. But well. Yes, I did make a mistake, so. Don't be as dumb as me. I'm going to release this clip. Get one bend out. And pull it through the both purple loops of my hook. And then... Put everything on your hook. release the clips and pull the band through everything 
so I'm just going to slip knot it for now. I'm going to straighten up my beads. Same thing as on the other side, just grab the beads and pull it to the top, like this. And for the bottom, to close it, just go through all of the cap ends. It's three cap ends, so six loops on your hook. Get a band. Pull it through and close. Make a slip knot as well now. And then the bracelet is done. So you've got this on the back and this on the front. So I hope it's clear to you and you can follow what I'm doing because the lightning is not as good as I would like but sorry, still working on that to find out how I can do that the best better than I'm doing now so I hope you like it and want to try it out and if you do and you're on Instagram I hope you would like to share your work and hashtag me because I would love to see your rendition thanks for watching bye bye